Today, I'll be showing you the easiest way to install and run Tor on your computer. Tor is basically a sophisticated network of online tunnels, dead ends, and redirections that helps to protect your privacy and anonymity online. It works by relaying the signals and information you send on the internet through a maze of other computers, or nodes, all around the world, so that by the time your request arrives at its destination, it's almost impossible to tell where it came from. It's used by journalists, whistleblowers like the people who contribute to WikiLeaks, by civil liberties advocates and pro-democracy organizers, and simply by concerned citizens like you, who are worried about just who may be monitoring their actions online. The software can be very complicated to use, but fortunately for us, the folks who designed it have also put together an easy-to-use browser bundle which contains everything you need to browse the internet under the protection of Tor. That's what I'll be showing you how to use today. The bundle includes the Tor software, which runs in the background, an interface for controlling the software, and a dedicated internet browser which makes use of the Tor software to anonymize your actions online. These components work together seamlessly and require no installation and no configuration whatsoever. All you need to do is extract the files to your hard disk or a flash drive and click on one simple shortcut. Easy peasy. Let's get started. First, open your internet browser. I use Firefox. When it's open, visit torproject.org. The most prominent link you see is the one you want. Click Download Tor. This will take you to a screen where you can download the Tor Browser Bundle Auto Extract Utility. This will decompress the files needed to run the Tor software and browser on your computer. No installation required. Click to download. Confirm that you'd like to save the file to the default downloads directory and give it a moment to download. This shouldn't take more than a minute or two on an average internet connection. When it's finished downloading, close your browser, open your downloads folder, and double click to run the auto extract utility you can see here. Confirm that you'd like to run the file, specify where you'd like it to extract to, I've chosen the downloads directory, and click extract. The auto extract utility will run and close automatically when it's finished. You can see here the directory that's been created, Tor Browser. Go ahead and open it. You can see here, Start Tor Browser. Double click to open, and a panel will pop up on the left hand side of your screen. This is the Vidalia GUI or Graphic User Interface, which controls the Tor software. You don't need to do anything with it to use Tor. Note the yellow onion in the lower right hand corner of the screen, which turns green when you're successfully connected to the Tor network. If it ever turns yellow, you're not connected to Tor, so keep an eye on it. Notice that the Tor browser opens automatically when you're connected to Tor. Let's make sure it's working. This page tells us what our IP address appears to be, but let's make sure. You can visit whatismyipaddress.com. Since I'm in Vancouver, Canada, I can tell the Tor software is working. This website thinks that I'm in Providence, Utah. Success! Now that you know that you're anonymous, browse away. When you've finished browsing, all you have to do is close the Tor browser, and you'll notice the green onion in the lower right hand corner winks out. This means the Tor software has stopped running along with the browser. That's all there is to it. Fire and forget. If you're serious about anonymity online, though, this is just the beginning. Today we've covered the basics of how to extract and run the Tor Browser Bundle on your computer, but there's a lot more to Tor and to anonymity online in general, including a number of nifty features in the Tor Browser which can protect you from security threats not covered by Tor itself. For more guidance, please visit these links. Happy disappearing!